Hello guys, welcome everybody to Purple Haze Podcast. I am your host who bleeds purple and gold, Isaac. So since the off season is here for the Vikings, apparently, I mean, so before we get into basically into anything that the Vikings should do in like the draft or not do, we're first going to start off with like players that we've had during this season as far as if they should stay or should they go like I'm not going to go down every all 53 men on the roster by any means but I'm going to go down the most most important players that should be cut or should be or like must cuts or must or must like extended or keeps For, like, basically starting with the quarterback position, it's optional, really, with any of these quarterbacks. Kirk Cousins, Nick Mullins, Josh Dobbs, and Jaron Hall. I mean, they're all optional. If you want to keep, like, a few or, like, something like that or, or, like, a certain number to cut, that's fine by me. I mean, Kirk Cousins, I mean... Like I said, if you only want to keep him, like, on a one year deal, like a $20 $20 million deal, okay, you can keep him for for as long as that, but no longer than that. Josh Dobbs, Jaron Hall, and Nick Mullins, they're all backups. Whoever you want to keep to basically fight for that position, I'm go ahead. I'm absolutely fine with that. Be my guest. As far as must cuts, for me... I say you start with Alexander Madison. He's absolutely been a train wreck as a running back one. And I said during the the beginning of the season, I was I was like, I think Alexander Madison can do a good job being the running back one for this team. Turns out he wasn't really, not really at all. He also can't he so he basically can't run, he can't pass block, and he can't catch the ball, which he's Which he's first on the team for dropped passes. As far as I'm concerned, nope. Can't have that. So, Alexander Madison. KJ Osborne must be cut as well. He's done some flashes, but outside of that, he's, he's also second... He's also second in pass drops for this team. We basically can't have that. He's done some nice things, no doubt. As far as some flashy plays, but he he's just every single catch that he makes, he there's also a goofy play that follows up with it with KJ Osborne. So I'm good with that. Josh Oliver, I mean, he hasn't really done really much really for the team, as far as I'm concerned. Not a whole lot of flashes really. He's just been quiet this entire season. I wouldn't I wouldn't keep him. Maybe Johnny Munt, no, I mean, he, no, I just think basically there's only two tight ends that the Vikings should keep as far as I'm concerned. You really don't need like four, really. I think two can be just fine, and I'll explain those two when I do so. Garrett Bradbury should be cut. He's obviously one of the smallest. He cannot get a push at all as an offensive lineman, as a center as well. And plus, he's a quality starter. Ezra Cleveland has... I mean, I'm sorry. Garrett Bradbury has been a bust. I just... I don't think really we can keep Garrett Bradbury really anymore. Because if you're... Because the way the league is trending with all these tush pushes. The Eagles, the Cowboys, the 49ers. All these teams. They're doing the tush push as well. And if that's what we want to do... Garrett Bradbury cannot be your center. Um, As far as like the defensive end position, Marcus Davenport, sure he can do some good as far as I'm concerned, but I think this was definitely another one of Kwesi's mistakes to, to sign Marcus Davenport because he's inconsistent. He basically, I just don't know how long he's going to be healthy. I just don't know about that, so I don't think they should keep him. Dean Lowry, we he was a non-factor even when he was not hurt. He was he was non-existent. He was basically a ghost out there, which basically it was a 10 on 11 for the defense. So so 
Dean Lowry hasn't done great. Um, Harrison Smith, I mean, as much as I hate to say it, basically, I don't think we really need Harrison Smith because you're already loaded on safeties. You got Cameron Bynum, Josh Metellus, Theo Jackson has turned into, I think Theo Jackson might be something special. Lewis Seen being a bust. I mean, Harrison Smith, I think maybe they should move on from him just because, I don't know, man. It just doesn't sit well with me. He's kind of old, but I just, I mean, I don't think they should really. And Caleb Evans, maybe if you want to clear up in maybe the secondary as far as cutting one player, I think a Caleb Evans might be the one. Has he's He's great at tackling, but... He's very inconsistent in pass coverage, so I wouldn't keep him, really. Greg Joseph, we can find a different kicker for competition. Greg Joseph, this, for the 23 season, he has completed 78% of his field goal attempts and point att and extra point attempts. And I think the league average for kickers is 83. If you're below average kicker as far as like the kicking game with the easiest kicking with the easiest position, no, I think we should absolutely move on from Greg Joseph and find someone else. As far as like must keeps for the Vikings for now in 2024. Ty Chandler, I mean, he's got a lot of work to do as far as him being a running back one. I mean, he's good at running. He's a very dynamic running back. He has speed, but his pass, his pass blocking is iffy, really. But I think they should still keep Ty Chandler. I mean, of course, Justin Jefferson and Jordas. And like, what else is there more to say? We need to keep those two. Brandon Powell is a must keep as well because... He's been absolutely clutch, really, in the wide receiver position. And he's made some very good flashy plays. I absolutely like Brandon Powell, and I trust him over KJ Osborne. As far as I'm concerned, they should keep him. TJ Hawkinson, of course. Nick Muse, I think they should keep because I think he has talent. I mean, I know that basically there is something there with TJ Hawkinson that he can just step up. I mean, if the bright lights are too much for him, okay. But I kind of want to give him a chance at the tight end two position. I would give Nick Muse a chance. As far as the offensive line, Christian Derrissaw. I mean, yes, he's been injured, but I think I would keep him because he's a very strong dude when he is healthy. He did play good against Green Bay Packers because that was the only bad game he's had. But I think he could be just fine. I say you keep David Casenberry just in case for like competition for like the tackle position. I mean, he's he basically kind of understands the system, so I would go with him. Dalton Reisner, you should absolutely keep for the opposite end of guard. You can find another guard right right opposite of Daniel. I mean, Dalton Reisner, Brian O'Neill. I mean, absolutely keep him. And the defensive end, Daniil Hunter, I mean, if you want to trade for him for a first round pick, I wouldn't mind it really at all. But if you're wanting to just tri keep him, okay, I'm fine with that. DJ Wanham, absolutely. He's been, I think he's been the second best pass rusher for the Vikings team as far as I'm concerned. Patrick Jones is second, absolutely, because he's been, he's been very good too as well. He's done a great job. Harrison Phillips, I mean, he definitely has been quiet, I would say, but he's made some nice plays here and there, but I would but I would still work on Harrison Phillips. The linebackers, Jordan Hicks, I would I would keep as far as like experience if you wanted to. I would absolutely keep this dude. He's been absolutely phenomenal even when he was not hurt. Ivan Pace Jr. Offensive, I think my defensive rookie of the year for the Minnesota Vikings, I would go with. He's made some, he's absolutely been good. And imagine what he might look like in his, pri in his prime when learning more. I think this dude could definitely be something special. And I'm here for it, man. 
Brian Osamoa, I mean, you can keep him if you wanted to. Because, you know, if Jordan Hicks is not going to be the starter, Brian Osamoa, Brian Osamoa I think, can answer the call really good. The secondary, Cam Bynum, Josh Metellus, and Theo Jackson. You could absolutely keep all of those three, as I said. Byron Murphy Jr., you, he needs a lot of work really done to him, really. He's been okay as if... He's been okay. Alright, so, I mean, not necessarily been flashy, but meh. I would keep him. And Mekhi Blackman, I think he's done a fantastic job as far as I'm concerned, just breaking up passes. I mean, as a rookie, it's kind of hard to see because of all the goofy mistakes that he made during the season, but... I would give Mekhi Blackman a shot, really, just because he's been he's he's not been doing too bad at pass blocking, or or pass defending, as I must say. But basically, those are my players that I would keep and cut all together. But we'll see what the front office do does as far as I'm concerned. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Skull.